Hello and welcome to this code rate session 2019. My name is Harry Stahl, I'm developer and Mercadero MVP and my topic today is useful hints for working with styles. Here you can see a short overview um, what we will discuss today. We start with the question where are the styles on my computer? To answer this question I have started here my file manager program and you can see um, the styles are saved in public, Embarcadero Studio, then uh, version number for Rio, 20 styles and here you have the styles. So one way to get more styles is to use Delphi and uh, via the um, get it option. When you start get it you can select styles and then take some time and then you can see the styles that you can install on your PC. For example I select this style and set install. I just have to accept and it's already done. So you can see the folder where um, the new style is saved. For example here when we click we can see the style name. As you can see um, in the Windows folder it is only a VSF um, style file and not a dot style file for FireMonkey. We will uh, see later how we can convert this to a FMX style file. Another way to get new styles is to buy it from a third party developer here from uh, Cars Dev from Delphi styles. There you have uh, FMX styles, VCL styles and you have a lot uh, a real big bunch of different styles. So how can you view styles? In the bin folder you have uh, two main viewer. This is one times the uh, VZL style viewer and the FMX style viewer. You can uh, start this program and give as a parameter the file name. For example when I s want to see this golden graphite style I copy the file name to the clipboard and uh, style uh, start the um, uh, FMX style viewer as a parameter of the file name and then you can uh, see the style. The same thing is when you want to see a VCL style. Uh, for example this nice looking Amnetist Camry. Um, then I start the VCL style viewer with this parameter and it looks like this. Of course you can also assign the file extension to the uh, system by uh, cl double clicking on the name and then will appear a dialog where you can select the style viewer file this is the f uh, from um, XC7 that I don't want uh, to use and for that reason I scroll down and set uh, search in for apps and I insert this viewer from Rio. So and now it works also and um, by every double click on uh, Stylefly style file you see then directly uh, the viewer and then you can directly select this program to view the file. And just as a short info you can also develop your own uh, style viewer. I have integrated here in my IDE manager on the styles tab. So by default you uh, will see the styles that are installed in the public documents folder and you can uh, see here uh, FMX and VCL style and you can uh, directly start the viewer from this point 
and you have also directly access to the different subfolders that they are here and you can also here start the viewer and have a look at it. And now I show you how we convert this uh, last uh, VCL style to um, FMX style. You can use here the under tools the uh, bitmap steel designer and you can then open style name and set just save as but you save this as style file and that it was. So and now I will show you how you can assign a style to the program. Therefore here I have also inserted a style book and double click on it and uh, open a style file and here we use this what we have uh, converted and I close it and now you have also um, assigned the style book to the form and we run the program so it looks good, but uh, I show you what happens uh, when I start another form. It does not have the style and the show message has also not the style. We can uh, adjust this for the form if we um, activate it use style manager here. And when we now start again the program also the second form has a style but not the show message. Uh, that means all dialogues from the system are not styled uh, under FMX. If you work with uh, VCL styles uh, then you have there the, uh, the opportunity to uh, style the systems dialog also. Uh, under FMX you have to develop your own open and save dialogue as and message uh, dialogues if you want to have them uh, styled. So um, we want to use this program on uh, different platforms Windows, Linux, with FMX Linux and uh, Mac OS and how do we handle it to get the styles, the different styles for this platform. If we u open the style book you can see um, we can add other platforms and load uh, perhaps then a style book um, um, file but we haven't uh, Linux here so we use another way. In generally I often use in my projects the uh, TS style manager that sets style from file but then you have to handle different style files um, in your systems you have to copy them to the different um, uh, OS systems and you have also to handle it uh, in the deployment manager for the different uh, debug release and uh, app store and uh, different um, uh, options and so you have a lot to do with this so that's the reason Mm, that I show you a very easy uh, and other solution. I have created for this um, three data modules, for example here this Windows uh, and I have integrated um, and load a style file as I have shown it before. I have to do the same for the Mac and also for the Linux platform. They have uh, uh, corresponding names, uh, data module Linux and so on. So, so we remove this style book and in the creation event we create only this data module that will be used for the platform and all will be fine. Um, it is necessary to use three uh, different data modules because you can use uh, the option use style manager from the style book only once and you can also set it not at runtime 
it works only when you have set it before at design times. Um, so that's the reason that you have uh, to use these three data modules. And let's have a look it's now for window if it works it's okay and we have all the uh, second form and we check it now for um, Mac OS so let's see via remote control what then uh, happened on the Mac OS platform so we have it started here and also the second form is fine and all work like it should so and the last test is to look um, how it works on the Linux platform here is the window and all is fine again so now we're at the end of this short video um, on my FireMonkey blog um, you will find um, a lot of information that I have reported here and more links to older videos I have made about styles and more information. So long that it was. Bye bye.